In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a CSS button generator to generate CSS styles that you can easily apply to buttons on your website. In this example, I'm going to style one of those ugly submit form buttons and make it look way better. And we're getting started right now. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. And if it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more awesome tutorials. And with that out of the way, let's start generating some CSS buttons. I'll see you in the screen capture. So we're gonna use a CSS3 button generator to generate some CSS code to make an awesome looking button. And we're gonna upgrade our little form right here because the stock button is terrible. It's the standard from the 1990s, but it's not the 90s anymore. I don't know why these forms don't come with a little bit nicer of buttons, but they don't. So we gotta do it ourselves. And it's super simple because we're gonna use a button generator. The one that I do, or the one that I use, is called bestcssbuttongenerator.com. That's where it is. If you don't want to use that one, just Google CSS button generator, and there's a whole bunch that'll show up. The reason I like this one is because it gives you a bunch of preset buttons on the left. So if you click on any of these, it's going to populate the, the button and the code and all the settings on the right. So let's say we want to do this red pill button. We put it in here, we can use it as a starting point, then we can change whatever we want just by changing the sliders, typing in different text here, green for the text, if we want to have green as the text, change the vertical size, horizontal size, make a mega size button, make it bold, we're going to change this to uh, send message as the button text can change the shadow, how far the shadow is away from the button itself. You can just go through here, fiddle with the settings, and then see what you like and don't like. And then what you do is you don't click on get CSS or get HTML, you click on the button itself. And then this little tab on the right changes to the CSS. This is actually the HTML for it up here. If you didn't have the button existing on the site, whereas we do, it's part of a form. So if we just select all of this and then copy it, and in, on my site, I'm using Divi themes. And inside the Divi theme options, there's a custom CSS box, which I'm gonna use. I've linked to a video down below where I show you three different ways to find where to put CSS on three different style sites. One with theme options, one without, and one with different theme options, I believe. Anyway, check out that video if you don't know where to put the CSS. It'll show you where, hopefully. But I'm gonna put mine right here. I'm gonna click on, right click there and just paste it in. Now all I have to do is either add this class to my form or just change it to the input type. So for form buttons, if we put input, open and close square brackets, type equals submit, this will select the submit button and apply these styles to it. And I'm gonna copy this to the other three selectors as there's a hover pseudo selector. I'm gonna keep that colon hover in there and there's an active pseudo selector, keep the colon active. Let's replace the my button. There is no period for a class or a hashtag for an ID before the input. It's just input. Then we click on save changes. And if we head back out to our form and refresh this page, we now have a much classier button. Now this might not be the size that we want. Clearly I made it quite large and in your face, but you can make it however you want by changing these things around and you can make the button pretty much however you like. And again, Choose a preset to get where you want to go faster because that's a, a great additional feature. There's one last thing that might be very important. If you have multiple forms, if you don't want to have this button show up just like this on all the forms, what you have to do is wrap your form in a div and then use that div for the input. So you would go into, uh, just let me open this form up if I can find it. So if we pop into the form, say you have 15 of these forms, we want to have a different button on each one. You wrap the whole thing in a div and give it a class of, I'm just going to call this one form one. And then a closing div, save this. Then if we go to our theme options here and to the CSS, got to put the class in here of form one. So now it's gonna apply this CSS to the input of submit in form one, not in the other forms. And that way you're able to style every form individually if you want to. 
put form one in front of all these, save it. If we go back to the form, refresh, nothing's gonna have changed. And now we can have other forms with other style buttons, if you want them. And that's how easy it can be to generate styles using a button generator. You can make really good looking buttons really quickly and really easily. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more awesome tutorials. And next up is clicking one of these videos that appeared on the right hand side over here to learn some more WordPress stuff. And until next time, keep crushing it with WordPress and I will see you in the next video.